Hi, I'm Jared Nelson from the Investing Channel, and welcome to The Spill. You know what we're short on right now? Semiconductors. And you know who helps manufacture them? Jabil. Electronic manufacturing services aren't sexy or likely to have Matt Damon in the commercials. But it is extremely profitable, and right now, it's in high demand. As we sifted through our proprietary search data, Jabil popped up as a stock with tantalizing value and fairly high search volume among retail investors. Yet, it saw very little interest amongst financial pros. It seemed odd that retail saw what we did, yet financial pros ignored this stock entirely, especially given its 10-year average growth of 6-7%. to But let's see what you think. Headquartered out of St. Petersburg, Florida, Jabil is one of the largest global suppliers of electronic manufacturing services. Essentially, they offer design, production, product management, and aftermarket services to customers, catering to industries from aerospace to telecommunications and everything in between. You can think of Jabil as the brand behind the brand, or as a more expansive contract manufacturer. They're the ones that work with clients to bring their products to market through everything from design to manufacturing while protecting intellectual property. Looking at the financials, in Q1 last year, total revenues increased 9.4%. For Q2, the company guided year-over-year -year increases of 14% and 4% respectively, continuing the strong showing. This comes after sizable growth that accelerated during COVID. In fact, the three-year average revenue growth rate stands at 9.85%, well above the industry average. On top of that, the company has done a fantastic job of expanding operating margins and boosting net income and earnings. While operating and free cash flow have increased, it hasn't been as robust as the top line and earnings growth would imply. Jabil carries very little debt at $2.38 billion, with $1.23 billion in cash, and that gives them ample room to borrow should they wish to expand. The valuations for Jabil are enticing, so we stack them up against some of their peers. And it should be readily apparent that the electronic manufacturing services industry is cheap as a whole. Amongst its peers, Jabil lands in the middle in terms of price-to-earnings ratios. However, it has one of the best price-to-cash flow ratios along with a fantastic price-to-sales ratio. But when we include growth statistics, you'll see why Jabil was so interesting to us. When you compare Jabil to the other peers, it's one of the most consistent in terms of compounded annual revenue and earnings growth, not to mention cash flow. If there was one knock on Jabil, it would be the company's margins. While Jabil's margins aren't bad, they are slightly worse in several categories than many of the peers, including gross and net income margin. When you're dealing with margins in the single digits, a few points after the decimal matter a great deal. Nonetheless, the company boasts the best return on equity and second best return on total capital. In our opinion, this is a 7 out of 10 stock right now. Jabil is the best in the industry, hands down. However, this isn't a high growth area. So, with shares trading up nearly 50% since the start of 2021, we'd like to get a better margin of safety here. Ideally, picking up shares closer to $50 would offer a better risk-reward, especially for a long-term investment. Click and subscribe to the Spill newsletter to get the full breakdown.